Sweat family, it's Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. Chris and Mark here at the Sweat Box. Are you ready for this? Oh, uh, I'm not sure I am. <laughs> I'm still feeling yesterday's workout. Man, 100 push-ups. Yep. Yeah. Put it in the chest. Oh, all right. But we're keeping the good feelings going today. We're doing an upper body and core focused workout. Again, we're bringing you a slightly different format today. We're going to lead through everything. We are going to be doing six minute rounds. So we're going to be doing a six minute warm up, and then we are going to be following that with a handful of six minute AMRAP rounds. We're going to explain the exercises as we go. So, equipment for today. You're going to need a set of lighter to intermediate weights. If you've got dumbbells, that's great. If you don't have dumbbells, totally fine. Grab two bottles of water. Grab two jars of peanut butter from your pantry. Two soup cans. Totally up to you. Let's hit it with the warm-up. For our warm-up today, we are going to do what? We are going to do arm circles. So, 30 seconds forwards and back. We are going to do reverse lunge with a trunk stretch. We are going to do inchworm, so karate chop those hips. Walk out into a plank and pike up and walk back. We are going to do seal jacks. We are going to do bird dogs, so 30 seconds on one side, no rushing this, okay? And then 30 seconds on the other side. And then finally, Minute number six, we are going to high knees or marching. So then we're going to have a one minute break and then we're going to go into the first round. During that break, we'll explain what's coming in that round. We get to start? Yeah. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start with arm circles, feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back, chin up, chest up. Core tight. Yep. Let's go forward. 30 seconds. Going forward. Again, don't rush this, okay? Medium sized circles. Might have a little crunching going on, that's okay. All right, we got 10 seconds left of this direction. We're gonna go in the opposite direction coming up. Open those fingers, splay those, splay those fingers apart. All right, let's go backwards. Change your direction. Keep those feet shoulder width apart. Try not to move your hips. We're just moving that upper body. So glutes and quads tight, abs nice and tight too. Focus on breathing. Here we go, last 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go into reverse lunges with a trunk stretch. Alternating sides, every rep right, on that reverse lunge. Arms Exhale. out in front. Come back up. Slow and steady here. Okay. Oh, there are the creaks and the cracks. Come straight down. Uh -huh. And again, you're pushing up off that front heel to come up. My arms are burning already. What's oh, yeah. This? All right, we got 30 seconds left of this. Tell you what, let's change the direction. Let's put our arms out in front. And as we come back, we're gonna rotate over that forward knee. You got it. Forward and up. Take that back. Ooh. Test and balance already. Oh Here yeah. We go. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into 30 seconds of bird dogs each side. No, we're not. We're going to go no, to the inchworms. Inchworms. All right, let's go. Karate chop those hips. Put your hands to the floor. Walk out to a plank. Lift your hips up. Walk your hands back straight up to standing. Hinge. Walk out to a plank. Hands under the shoulders. Come back up. This is driven by your abdominals, guys. So hinge. Abs nice and tight here. Pause in that plank. Lift those hips. Your legs should stay as straight as you can. And I want your heels to come flat on the floor before you're coming up to standing. Inhale all the way down here. Exhale as you're coming back. 15 seconds left. Then we're going into seal jacks. Come up to standing. Five seconds. 
All right, here we go. So seal jacks. If you're not jumping, you're stepping out. There's always an option. We got you covered. Control those arms, pulling them back and forward. It's all about control here, guys. We're not flailing our arms around. You've got 30 seconds left. <sighs> Keep your eyes straight ahead. Abs are still tight here. You guys getting warmed up yet? Final 10. There we go. Forgot to start the fitness timer. <sighs> Gotta make the workout count. All right, down to the floor we go. Bird dogs. So. All right, tabletop position. Lead with hand and opposite heel. Core nice and tight. Spine neutral. Your supporting knee is beneath your hip. Your supporting hand is beneath your shoulder. So tuck in, abs tight, abs tight here. Pushing that heel out every time. You got five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, and switch. Inhale as you come in, exhale as you come out. You're pushing that heel straight out, not up, and not down. Final 10 seconds. We're going into high knees or a march. Four, three, two. All right, come on up. I'm going into high knees. If you're marching, you're driving that knee as high as you can go. Okay, if you need to splay your legs a little bit wider so you can get them up, then by all means do that. Abs are tight here. I want you to drive that knee up, so power. Exhale, as that knee is coming up. 25 seconds left of our warm up. We are giving you a minute off to get yourself all sorted out. Exhale. 13 seconds left, guys. Ugh. Here we go. Five, four, three, You got this, keep going. Two, one. Awesome, all yes, right. that was a warm up. <laughs> that was our warm up. Right. Okay, we are going into round one. We're gonna give you three exercises. You're gonna do 10 reps of each and just keep cycling through it because it's an AMRAP. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is delt flies. Chris has got her lighter dumbbells. I got my water bottles. Think about flying out with those, leading with those elbows. 10 of those, we are moving into bent over rows. A little different, palms up. This is called a pendule row. Pulling back, think we're coming towards our hip or towards our navel. Pulling those shoulder blades together. And finally, we're gonna do 10 oblique crunches per side. You're gonna grab that one weight, let it pull you down, then engage your obliques to come back up to standing. 10 of each. Again, when you're doing those oblique crunches, you gotta lock that whole core in. So tight abs and glutes, let's Here go. Here we go, delt flies, 10 of them, let's go. Here, I'll face the camera for you guys. You would have a neutral spine here. I'm at nine, 10. Switching up into that pendule row. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep your weight in your heels here. See, we're not racing. 
All right, I'm gonna switch up to a heavier weight here. All right. So again, like I said, quads, glutes, and abs nice and tight. You're doing 10 per side with these oblique crunches. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders back. You may have more range of motion on one side than the other, that's okay. Keeping those glutes tight will also help prevent the weight from pulling your back. Keep those shoulders back. I got one more. Woo. Alrighty. All right. I'm going back to delt flies. I'm gonna move my water to the side. I'm gonna go up and wait a little bit. You don't wanna to be too heavy here. Again, get a static bend in those elbows. And wait on your heels. When you do the rows, palms facing out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. These delt flies are gonna hit the deltoids in the upper back. The pendulay rows are gonna be hitting your mid and your lower back. You can see I'm changing up my weights. I want to maintain the challenge on every movement. Super important not to rush any of this. Two and a half minutes left of this first round, guys. This is a lot like the mini circuit workouts that we do. Our goal is we'd like you to finish between two and three laps in each round. Remember, once you've done all three, there's no break. You're going right away at the to back to the top. So, don't rush the movement. If you want to stay with us, you can certainly do that. Try not to go past us. Nice work, Chris. Again, full exhalation as you're driving those dumbbells back and squeezing those shoulder blades together. You're coming up on one minute and 10 seconds left here, guys. Keep that weight in your heels. My abs are still tight.
Nice work, gang. One more. All right. Take that minute break. We're gonna walk you through the next round. We're gonna be starting off with 10 chest flies. So again, go to those lighter weights. Get those feet flat on the floor, knees bent. When you're dropping those hands out to the side, elbows to the floor, squeeze that chest, feel that work right through here. Nice and controlled down, nice and controlled coming up. Once you've done 10, I want you dropping into 10 skull crushers total. If you are doing alternating sides, you're gonna do 10 aside. If you are gonna do them together in tandem, you're gonna be doing 10 total. And once you've done that, you have your choice. You can put the weights down or you can keep one as resistance and you're gonna be going into 10 crunches. All right, again, we got 10 seconds left of our break. And we're going into round two of three. Here we go, chest flies. Keep that slight bend in your elbows. Bring them down to the floor. Squeeze your pectoral muscles as you're coming up. the top of your 10th chest fly. Keep those elbows pointed at the ceiling. We're gonna be dropping those weights down either side of our head. Squeeze those triceps back up. When it's time to do crunches, remember you're coming straight up and controlling the movement down so every vertebrae is touching the floor on the way down independently. And then on the way up, you're bringing everyone independently off the floor. See how this goes. <laughs> okay. Try not to rush it. Core tight here while you're on the floor. Once you've done those crunches, back to chest flies. Again, maintain that static bend in your elbow. When you do those skull crushers, if you're doing them together, we want to keep them a little bit apart so that as you're bringing those dumbbell heads down, that they're coming to either side of your temples. Locking our arms up at the top. Switching to skull crushers. I'm at crunches. Again, you're not flinging yourself forward. You're using your abdominals to come up and again controlling those abs so that you're touching that each vertebrae on the way down. Back to chest flies. Where are we for time? Oh, two minutes left. Fantastic. 
fantastic, guys. You're doing awesome here. All right, I'm just about to start set three. Ugh. If you're with me, here we go. Slight bend in those elbows for those flies. Elbows to the floor. Squeeze the pecs as you're coming up. Inhale down. Exhale. How you doing over there, Mark? Seven of my second set. Uh, already finished lap two, coming back from my weights, going right back into those chest flies. Uh, Round lap three starts now for us. I'm doing the skull crushers. Here's number two. Oh, my triceps on fire. Oh. Here we go. Nine. Oh, ten. All right. Starting my crunches. That was 10 if you're with me. We're going right into skull crushers. Be mindful of the elbows. Keep those elbows pointed right at the ceiling. One. Less than 30 seconds to go, guys. All right, there's 10. Let's go to those flies. Make sure I got two of the same weight dumbbell. <laughs> All right, here we go. Slight bend in those elbows. Bring them down to the floor. <sighs> Drive them back up. Oh. Woo, saved by the All right, I'm finishing this set. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice okay. work, gang. We are two AMRAPs in, two rounds in. We got one round left to go. Last round, we are gonna be going into alternating L raises, 10 total. <sighs> So that means each arm will be going to the front five times and to the side five times. From there, we are going to be going into 10 overhead lockout crunch curls per side. One arm stays locked out, other side does 10 curls, then you're going to switch sides. And our final exercise is going to be ab rainbows. We're going to be back on our elbows and we're just going to be scribing our heels in an arc. Do you want to turn face and turn your heels towards the camera? Sure do. Move these weights out of the way. You can see how Chris is making that rainbow. Alrighty, grab your weights. We're going in five seconds. Okay. Choose your weights wisely, guys. Here we All go. Alrighty, water bottles, peanut butter jars. I'm gonna go into a staggered stance. Remember, you're only bringing those arms up shoulder height and no hip involvement. This is not what we're looking for. Keep those elbows hips down. Give a little pause when you're up at the top. I'm at six, where are you guys at? I'm at seven now, this is seven starting. That's nine for me. Yep. And 10, already I'm switching up my weights. So that hand over about, overhead, you're gonna open that hand up so you've got a nice loose grip. Lock your arm out so that your elbow is at your ear, not out here. Get it up. Bring that arm all the way down for that curl. And again, keeping your elbow tight to your body. Squeeze that bicep at the top. That's 10 for me. All right, gonna switch sides. Whew. All right, open hand grip at the top. Here we go. I'm still keeping my glutes and my abs nice and tight while I'm here as well. Keep that overhead arm locked out. I don't want any drifting elbows. Slow and steady here. It's only 10, you got this. Eight. Nine. 
For me. Yep. Oh, I'm okay. facing you. All right. Nice work. Ab rainbows. Back okay. on those elbows. Ten in total. Here we go. One. Two. If you can keep those heels from tapping the floor, do that. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo. Back up to standing. I'm contemplating those water bottles right now. <laughs> That just might be in my weight range. Give a little pause at the top. One, oh. two, oh. three. Rotate those shoulders. Oh. Try and keep your hips facing us. Oh. <laughs> Where you at? I'm at nine. This is nine. I'm doing ten now. Oh, wow. Oh. All right. oh. No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna change my weights. No, I think I'm good. Thanks. Oh. Enjoy that burn, guys. Think of all the people that can't do what you're doing right now. Ugh. I'm at nine, what do you got, Mark? I'm at nine. Good. 10. Ten, finish it off, finish it off, all the way down. Swap sides. All right, here we go, ready? Yep. Okay, one. one. Go for it, you count us out, Chris. Two, elbows tight to your body. Three. Oh, four. Five, hurts so good. Six, finish strong. Seven, three to go. Eight, nice job guys, you got this. Nine, one more. 10, good. Oh. All right, down we go, we're going to add rainbows. Oh, 90 seconds left of this workout, guys. All right, I'm on my elbows, but I'm also sitting on my hands. Three, four, five, six. Some of you may not be able to come as low as we do. That's fine. Eight, nine, and ten. Oh. All right. All righty. We got one minute left. Let's see how far we can get in this. Okay. Back to those all raises. You're gonna count us, Mark. You're gonna count us. Let's go. Okay. One. Pause. Down. Two. Pause, down, three, four, you guys got this cadence, come on, five, pause, six, pause, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, overhead lockout. Again, push that arm straight up the whole time. One, two, three. Where are we on time? Seven seconds. Four. We're gonna finish at least both sides. Five. Come on, guys. Six. All right, we're going, we're finishing off. Seven, eight. You got this, guys. Nine. One more. 10, come on, we're gonna stay balanced. We're switching sides, we're gonna do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Finish it. Six, you got four more. Seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Ten, all the way down. Oh. Nice job, gang. Oh, you guys did it. That was an amazing upper body workout. Oh. T-Rex, T-Rex, oh, T-Rex yeah. arms. Whew. Okay. All right. No washing hair today or tomorrow. Darn, that was supposed to be my.
my afternoon washing my hair. Uh -huh. Oh well. Okay, let's roll those shoulders back. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. It feels so good though, right? Yeah. Aren't you glad you did this? I'll be honest, I was not <laughs> feeling it. I don't think either of us were feeling this at the start of the workout. All right, let's go forward. No excuses though. That's right. We are super committed to you guys. You deserve the very best. Absolutely. We want to give that to you every single workout. And so here's the thing. Pull your arm across, drop your shoulder down. You know some days when you're not feeling it, but you're dragging it and you show up anyway? It happens for us too. Oh, yeah. So remember that. We're not like super people as much as we like to think we no, are. You just get the game face. You no, get the so edited game face <laughs> on here. You don't hear the swearing that goes on before <laughs> and after. Those are our workout words, just so you know. And you don't see the takes where we walk away <laughs> and we start over. All right, let's shake our hands out. I want you uh, to stretch your arms out, put your thumbs up to the ceiling. Do what Chris is doing. I'm a little behind here. All right, I'm I want up. you to push your, right, squeeze right. your shoulder blades together, push your fists back, pop your chest oh, out. There's that chest. Yeah. That feels so good after all those flies. Good. All right, we're going to do something different. I want you to give yourself a nice big hug. Hold. Oh, what if I can't? Right. Try to reach your hands behind here. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. Back out again. So out and in, right? Oh, mama. Yeah. Okay. One more hug. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to reach up. Spread your feet nice and wide. We're going to give yourselves a Michael M hip, sassy hip, and we're going to hinge down to the side, drop your arm down, drive your hand down towards your ankle. Ooh, nice stretch through the, those obliques, that's what we want here, okay? We're going to hang out here for a second. All right, come on back up, reach to the top, Ooh, sassy hip out, drive your hand down your leg. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, there's my back. It just cracked. Yay. Okay, reach back up. And we're just going to exhale down. Reach towards your feet if you can. Oh, yeah. All right, come on back up. Big inhale. we got one more stretch like this. And exhale down. All right, come on up. Guys, you made it through Thursday. Whew. All right, tomorrow is Friday. Consider yourselves another week in the books almost. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Thank you for supporting us. We definitely appreciate it. It makes all the difference in the world. You know, um, we want to keep seeing those YouTube comments. We want to keep getting those emails and texts. We just love hearing it. Thank you so much. Until tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, look, I can raise my arm now. It's good. <laughs>